Let's do some math for fun. Here we have this question from one of my subscribers, and the question is, what factorial do we have to remove from the product? 1 factorial times 2 factorial times 3 factorial times 4 factorial times dot dot dot. 19 factorials times 20 factorial. So that after you take that factorial away, the result will be a perfect square. So an example is that, can I take away 19 factorial, and then you multiply out the rest, and that final number is a perfect square. So that's the idea, right? So think about it, what number, I mean, what factorial do we have to take away from that list? And as always, please pause the video and try this first. Okay, as you know, this is going to be a huge number, right? Hmm. So, we have to be smart, right? Let's see, let's see. In order for a number to be a perfect square, we have to have something to the even number power, right? So for example, we can have 17 to the fourth power, that's actually a perfect square, right? That's an idea. And if you want to have anything that's with the even power, let's just pair things up evenly, right? So for example, let's take a look of these two things together. And let's see, this is just one factorial times two factorial, nothing too much I can do. Let's look at this right here, right? Let's look at this right here. 3 factorial is just 3 factorial, but if you look at 4 factorial, I can write this down as 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, right? And I can merge these 3 numbers into 3 factorial. In another word, 4 factorial is the same as 4 times 3 factorial. And if you do pair this up together, you can write this down as 3 factorial squared and then times 4, right? So let's do that. In fact, I will do all that for all this uh, pairing, right? And in fact, I can do the same thing right here, but it's just kind of boring because you have the one, but same idea will apply. So let's put this down first. We have the one factorial, okay, times for two factorial, that's ready as two times one factorial, okay? So this is the first grouping. Multiply by the second one, let me just write down three factorial times the four factorial, which is four times three factorial. And you know the idea, the next one is, what, 5 factorial, right, let's just write that down. 5 factorial times 6 times 5 factorial, because this is technically 6 factorial. And the same process, right? And lastly, we have this, and that's going to be 19 factorial times 20 times 19 factorial, because this is 20 factorial, right? And now let's just rewrite things together. So for example, from the first parentheses, I will purposely write this as 1 factorial square to make us feel better, right? So we have 1 factorial square. So it is a perfect square. Next, let's pair this up together, and I will just put this down. We have 3 factorial square, right? And notice I didn't put down the 2, I didn't put down the 4, but it's okay because Multiplication is commutative, right? So I will put that down later on. And from here, I can say 5 factorial, 5 factorial, so that's 5 factorial, and then square, okay? Dot, dot, dot. The very last one that we have is 19 factorial times 19 factorial, which is 19 factorial square, okay? And all this is square, but now, Let's look at the leftovers. So here we have 2, right, in blue, 4, 6, and the last one is 20. So let's go ahead and put that down. Times 2, 4, 6, da da da, you know, 18, and then the last one is 20, like this. So this is a perfect square. Now let's play it around with this right here a little bit more, because I do notice that I have 2, 4, 6, and so on. I can factor out a 2 from each number. This is not addition. You cannot just factor one two. You have to factor out a lot of twos. How many though? The answer to that is 10. Because right here, you look at this as two times one, and look at this as two times two, and then two times three, dot dot dot, and the last one is two times 10, okay? So, you have all this, and I will just put this down Quickly, this is pretty much 1 factorial times 3 factorial times 5 factorial, dot, 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 19 factorial, and then 
I can put the power on the outside. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I have 10 twos, okay? So I will write this down as 2 to the 10th power. And notice that this is also a perfect square because the power is even. And finally, we see that the blue part is 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times dot 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 up to 10. In another word, it is going to be 10 factorial. And now, which of this factor right here is not invited in the perfect square world? This right here, it's a perfect square, right? It's good. And this right here, it's also a perfect square. So both of them are good, so I'll just put down, uh, they're okay. Perfect square. And this right here, we don't like it. And that's exactly what the question is. I want to remove 10 factorial so that the result of this original product, it will be a perfect square for that, okay? So this is the number, this is the factorial that we don't want. That we don't want. So here is the answer. Let's go ahead. We are going to remove 10 factorial and we are done. That's it, right?